Now, before you go too crazy cutting out your car, you are gonna wanna go ahead and drill your axle holes. You can do this after you've done your shell, but you should do this before you start cutting the profile of your car, especially if you are doing a rail car. Now, when it comes to cutting the axle holes, the reason why doing this before the profile is so important is so that it has a flat surface to sit on. Otherwise, your axle holes might go in at kind of a wonky angle. So we wanna make sure they're going nice straight up and down. Your axle holes should be marked based off of the sketch. And again, before you actually drill into them, make sure you double and or triple check that the bottom of the axle hole will in fact be in spec, as will the axle holes uh, apart one from another and the back axle hole to the back of the car. That is a good idea to double check that everything is in fact in spec before cutting into your vehicle. Now with our axle holes, we do have two different sizes like we discussed. The one that's currently in my drill press is my three millimeter bit. So that is going to be for anyone who is not using our friction reduction systems. So who is just using an axle. If you are using friction reduction, this is the drill bit you're gonna use. It should be over here by the drill press at all times. And if you need to remember how to undo, you're just going to use this little friend pop it into the holes. And when you twist that, it's going to loosen so you can remove this old drill bit and then pop in the new one and tighten. Make sure you remove this before actually starting to drill, put it back on its nice little magnet, and then you are all set. Now, when we are doing this, you're gonna go ahead and line everything up beforehand. And you can do what we call a dry fit. So you can bring down your drill bit and make sure that, hey, does it line up? And then move it so that it actually does. Once you've done that dry fit, you can go ahead and then turn on your drill press so that you can drill your hole. What you might find that you need to do is mark it on both sides and drill on both sides if our drill bit is not in fact long enough to go all the way through your car. Though I believe this drill bit will be long enough to go all the way through, so we should be good to go.